Here we're going to be looking at a note that's issued at its face value and it's going to have a stated rate of interest on it. So a note, and it's going to be a note receivable, that, which is a written promise to pay a certain sum of money at a specific future date here. So notes receivable, all notes have an interest element due to the time value of money. You can either have interest bearing notes that have a stated rate of interest or two here, non-interest ring notes which include the interest as part of their face value. What we're going to be looking at here is an interest bearing note. So let's look at it here. Our note issued at its face value and there's going to be an interest bearing note here. There's going to be interest on this note that's stated on the note. And when the interest stated on the note equals the effective market rate of interest, then the note sells at its face value here. So looking at our example here, Corporation A lends Corporation B $10,000 in cash in exchange for a $10,000 three-year note bearing interest at 10%, which equals the market rate of interest here of 10% for a note uh, with similar risk here. So we have a stated rate of interest on our note here of 10% and then the market rate of interest here uh, is 10% here. Again for a similar note with similar risk here. So let's look at our calculations here. So a note issued at its face value and at the stated rate of interest here of 10%. So let's do our uh, cal calculations here for the present value of the principal. So we have the note here for $10,000. Uh, we discount it back here for three years at the 10% uh, interest rate or the stated rate of interest here in the note. And it's at the beginning of the period here. And its present value for that uh, $10,000 amount here of the uh, note would be $7,513. Now there's also an interest element here in this note. And in, in this example here, we have this $10,000 dollar note here, a 10% interest per year, so uh, uh, multiplying that out, you get $1,000 of interest per year on this note. So we have to discount this present value uh, of the uh, interest payment back here as well. So again, we've got the $1,000 interest payment discounted back here for three years at the 10% or the stated rate of interest on the note here. And it, the present value of the interest payments equals $2,486. Adding that $2,486 to the present value of the uh, principal here on this note, or its discounted amount back to its present value, is set of $7,513 gives us $10,000 here. That's what the present value of this note is based on um, the uh, present value of the principal plus the present value of the interest payments. And that equals the face value of the note. The face value of the note is $10,000. So you take the $10,000 of the face value of the note here minus $10,000 of the present value of the uh, payments plus the principal amount gives you zero here. So, and since the note stated interest rate equals the market interest rate, there is no discount or premium to amortize here. You can see that through our calculations. So let's look at how we'd record this uh, note here. First off, looking at our cash account here, uh, we would credit or reduce our cash here by $10,000. Now that's from the Corporation A, the lender's perspective here. And then we'd record a notes receivable, debit that here for $10,000. And then the other thing that we have on this note, since there's no discount to amortize on the notes receivable, we do have those cash payments that we receive here of $1,000 per year for the 10% interest rate on that note. So we debit our cash account for each one of those payments here for $1,000. And then on our income statement, we'd recognize interest revenue here in this note's receivable for those uh, cash interest payments that we received in the note here for three of them for $1,000 here for a total amount here of $3,000. And then when this note here becomes... Uh, do here, uh, we would record here the cash receipt on that note here for $10,000 and then we'd remove this notes receivable off the book. See here we credit our notes receivable for $10,000. So this is how we'd handle here a note issued at its face value and also it's an interest bearing note but the stated rate of interest on the note equals the effective or market rate of interest here on this note.